So explain to us what you have below your left eye. I got a face tag that says laugh now, cry later with the two gesture faces, the happy face and the smiley face. I just stopped going up my job, which was at Toys R Us. And uh, I figured because after me quitting and knowing that I never wanted to work at Toys R Us or anything like that again, it was me telling myself that I'd never had to go back to doing something like that. The nine to five, a normal nine to five, like I'm either going to have make it in the league with football or uh, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. Right down the middle, Ethan. Yeah, power repass. Oh. He's on your damn strength and power, manhandle him. Let's go. I can't go on pad level now. Oh, no! Free eyes, Ethan. Get, get your eyes pad level down. Come on, Ethan, knock him back. And you, you get your eyes lower. End of story. I ain't seen him one more time. See this right here? This Ethan, I'm sick of saying it. I'm sick of watching it. I had to write that that last day. Get your eyes lower or you're playing somebody else, someplace else. I've had enough. I've had enough. I told you too many times. Too many times. You got it? You got it now? Tonight, St. Louis County Police are investigating a double shooting that left one man dead. The second victim remains hospitalized. Residents in the Glasgow Village neighborhood where the shootings happened want to see the violence end. The coach just kind of told me I was so sorry. So sorry. And you just found, you just found out. Facebook. That's how you found out? Oh, it just make it even worse, you know. My mom said they was going to call me. My older sister said she told them to tell me, but, you know, I'm out here. They don't Nobody me. picked the phone up to yeah, call you because they, they, you know, they, got, they know I'm out here. They ain't going to, you know. Matter, you yeah, know. that's why I said. Yeah, I know. But you got to forgive them on that. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, I just do that, Paul. I'm right so here. sorry. This is stepbrother. Yes, sir. How old? He was 18. We grew, we grew up together. We grew up together. So we just have to talk through this and take a deep breath and see. I mean, I'm fine with you leaving in an hour or fine with you leaving tomorrow or whatever. We just have to figure this out. Uh, right. You know, just tough. Yeah. And I always hold everything in instead of, yeah. like, like Coach Gross said, it's okay to let it out. It's okay. It's I lost okay. my dad and I. Yeah. The only thing I know is you got to yeah. be strong, but I don't yeah. know how to do that. Well, know? this is, yeah, but this is going to be different. You're going to have to go in there and be strong for them, yeah. you know? Yeah. But that's, that, and that's part of it. But, uh, it's been pretty hard. You know, uh, I'm a person that like to keep everything, all my emotions in, and, you know, barely cry here and there. But uh, my teammates and my coaches uh, let me know it's all right to cry, and it's all right to let those emotions out whenever you feel like it, you know. For them, I'm thankful. They're the reason why I'm still here in camp. Okay, um, you lost a stepbrother uh, yesterday or last night? Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Okay. It's Maurice Parker is his name. They grew up. They grew yeah. up together. Yeah, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. It's about allowing him to mourn, and it's about and grieve, and uh, it's about comforting him. That's more important than what we're doing. It's not an easy time for you, man. But we'll uh, we'll help you get through this. Okay. I know you will. Okay. Appreciate you. Three weeks ago, Paul McRoberts' stepbrother was murdered. His grieving is far from over. But the undrafted receiver has work to do to make the roster. For now, his comfort will come from the camaraderie of camp. Football is a business, but a team is a family. I need to work at everything else but my hands, because when I, when I see the ball, I don't think about the man. Like, I, I, take, I take my mind off the man, period, and just focus on the ball. We got it? We good? All right, so, hey, I thought we got a lot accomplished in the game. Love the energy at the end, down 24-7, come back and win. Overall, I thought it was a great experience. And what we do is we correct, okay? That's the most important thing, is correcting the mistakes. Make sure that they don't happen again. Hit it! Hit it! Rock back! When I say crease, I want them creased. And when we say Larry, that means Larry, go somebody up, Larry. 
but everybody's touchy, touchy, touchy feel on his assy, assy, assy. Now you're saying, there it is, Greg's being a again. No, I'm trying to figure out how I can help you make this team. We haven't said that in the rooms yet, evidently. The hundredth time. We've said it 99 times, but the hundredth time we're going to get it because all the colleges in the country and all your moms and dad, nobody's supposed to holler at any of you guys anymore. People that have en en enabled you your whole life, they're disabling you for your future. When you don't do what you're told to do, you get fired in other jobs. You'll get fired here, too. Brent is not the first coach's son to coach in the National Football League. There are handfuls of them out there. They grew up in the business. They see it, they sense it as they're growing up. Taken by Neal. He gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck, that looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. In the Music City Miracle, if you look at the tape, he's the guy that's jumping up and down on the 10 and the 5 and then in the end zone. That's him. So we got home, game was over, and uh, a big celebration at the house. He's going, look, there I am, there I am. And, and I said, what are you doing there? And he looked at me. Could you imagine had you bumped that official? What would have happened with that play? It was kind of cruel, I guess, from my standpoint. But the look on his face was, oh, my God. And I said, I said, it's OK. I said, the touchdown would have counted. The penalty would have been assessed on the kickoff. So we still would have won the game. He's really grown. He's really developed. You know, I don't look at him as my son. I look at him as one of the staff members that's getting his job done, and that's the only way you can look at it. As long as the ball doesn't go over our head, we got a chance. Yes, sir. So don't, that's another rule. I don't, you don't call me sir. All right. That's my rule. Practice is kicking up a notch. There's a game coming. Time to look sharp. There you go, let that thing swing, okay? Catch a coach's eye, make your mark. Good job. Good job. What's up with Spruce? Spruce got hurt? I think it's me. Spruce! Oh, you got a little knee brace on. <laughs> Undrafted rookie Nelson Spruce was the surprise hero of last week's win over the Cowboys. In the process, he injured his left knee, a reminder for Jeff Fisher to be cautious with his biggest star, Todd Gurley. What uh, would you like to see from Todd Gurley in his, his first exhibition game, really? Um, you know, yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, a couple carries, maybe some protection stuff, maybe, a, you know, whatever, and uh, get him out. What's up? I mean, hey, I ripped the staff this morning because we had a 9 7 yesterday and the freaking girly went to the ground. Okay, so everybody understands defensively that 30 doesn't need to be hit in the 9 on 7. Okay. I don't want 30 tackled. We need 30. Okay. So individual groups, let your guys know 30 doesn't go to the ground in a team period or a nine on seven. We need to we need to treat him like a freaking quarterback. Okay. Pro Bowl running back Todd Gurley is indispensable, which makes him untouchable. Other Rams are trying to prove that no football is uncatchable. Come on, let me go. My turn. You good? You done? No, go ahead, Finn. Gurley is content to wait and watch. Because defensive lineman Eugene Sims, who earlier in camp failed at ping pong, is putting on a show. 
Give me golf on. Turn that thing up. Run faster? Yeah, yeah, you Good move ball. too slow. That's full tilt. Here go one hand right here, Will. Oh. One hand catch, Odell Beckham style. Oh! Oh! Did Gene play tight end? Did he? Could he? I got hands, bro. Huh? Oh? Hey, yo, hey, your last team, you went one hand, though. One hand. Last team, you went one hand. What do you think about do you even lift, bro? What do you think about that? It might be a bit much. Or maybe just do you even. Let's try that real quick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to print that out for you. Stringer tank like that? Yep. Regular tanks, too? Yep. Because you got to have the stringer tank for, for working out and then the casual tank. Yep, like the one you got on. Yep. That one's pretty beast. Like, yeah, like I'm getting ready to lift. It's like more aggressive. Yeah. God, <laughs> I love them both. I absolutely love them both. And we can't do both. We have to do one or the other. We can do both. You can do both. Sweet. All right, then. Let's do both. <laughs> the timeless quality of the tank has nothing on Jeff Fisher's staying power. Because long before he was an NFL head coach, he was an NFL player. Punt return specialist Jeff Fisher contributed $1 to the Shrine Hospital for Crippled Children for every return yard he gained. An $88 donation was in the mail after this touchdown against the Buccaneers. Fisher's still using lessons he learned in his playing days. Good. And you know, Coop, this is not like kickoffs where we're going to catch it going forward. Ideally, you'd like to, but you want to be quiet at the catch. And he's still relying on people he met back then on the Bears. How you doing today, Mr. Singletary? Doing all right? Hey, that's the one coach I'm not with. Hey, Coach Singletary, that was a nice technique I just used. Don't with Mike Singletary. No, no, I ain't him. He just gave you that look, huh? Coach Singletary was one of the greatest linebackers in the history of the National Football League. We're gonna be here all day, baby! I like this guy's body! He was the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. You cannot play with him. Cannot win with him. Can't win with him! Can't do it. Won't do it! Can't do it, Tree! Singletary was two-time defensive MVP of the league, ten-time Pro Bowler, First ballot Hall of Famer, what else can you say? Right now, all I see is this. And when you're doing that, you don't have any power. This is what I have to do. I did it before practice, after practice, I did it at home. And it just slipped. So you get it. That's the step. All of you got power, but it's lost because it's too high. Get down here, and all of you be a force to be reckoned with. Mike Singletary is coach greats like Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis. His new pupil is the linebacker with the new baby, Alec Ogletree, number 52. Oh, no, 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 hold on. We don't want that. Get off this, going this way. Hit, hit, hit. That, push off of that outside leg. Here we go. Ready, go. Get down, Tree, get down, get down. Back. Come on, you're getting high now, you're getting high. Come on, baby, come on now. You're too high, baby. Let's go again, come on. You ready? You can be one of the best to ever play the game. You have within you, in this body, I got you. the ability to be a off-the-chart player. I got you. But you're not using it. I follow you. And it pisses me off, man. You're not using it. Yes, sir. I want to see you hustle. If you want to be a, if you wanna be a great player, hustle. I got you. We have the, the ability to have a pretty darn good team. 
But you know what? It ain't gonna happen. No. Unless you come alive. I got you. It's a lot on your shoulder. I don't know if you can handle it. I got you. It don't happen unless you come alive. I got you. I don't mean talking. Do it. Do you want scrambled or fried? Scrambled is fine. Jack Wright Z in, Jiggy Pass Right, Z Comeback, X Go, Y Ghost, Kill, Scat Right, Z Curl. Let's go, I need it again. The play calling to start in my rookie year, this was struggling with uh, getting in and out of the huddle. Um, obviously some of the plays in the NFL are a little more wordy than uh, you know, what I had in college. I started asking Kimberly to read them off for me. Okay, Jack Wright close, possible Z in, fire right, crater, X strike. Jack Wright close, fire right, crater, X strike. Okay. It's fun for me to learn a little bit of the plays too and hear what he's actually saying in the huddle. Shotgun duet, 92, 93, Iowa, read F minus. Yeah, shotgun duet, 92, Iowa, read F minus. Okay. Dump right, F counter, naked right, F slide. Yeah, dump right, F counter, naked right, F slide. Slide over, down flat. Second and eight. Hey, second and eight. Gun, devil right, juice. Gone left, Gotti, X Omaha. Here we go. Hey, let's go gun, devil right, juice straight over here. Gone left, Gotti, X Omaha over there. Ready? Omaha away. Over there. Omaha, let's go. Right 20. Right tight. Case Keenum knows the playbook cold. He also knows his time as the starter could end at any moment. Teams want top picks to play. And Jared Goff may be ready to run with the first string. I think we need to do this this week. You guys to get together in one period for practice to where Jared's going with the ones. Okay. So pick, pick the period that yep. you like. We'll get him with the ones for one you know, one period uh, per practice per week. Hey! 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 Sack! Oh, oh, got a sack already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Much better. There you go, let that thing swing. Like a man. That's the way to operate right there. Hell of a ref. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go, 16. Oh, boy. Hello. That, that was a good drive right there. You know, that one felt, I'm talking about myself. I don't know how you played. I felt, I felt, I felt really good there, young guy. <laughs> no, that was, that was good. We all knew it was going to be a process. I think you see flashes of obviously why we took them number one, and you also see rookie lapses throughout the course of, of each practice. I think those are, are continuing to be minimized. He's made great strides since OTAs. Uh, I love where this kid's at. He's working his ass off. He's asking the right questions. Uh, we'll continue to obviously just watch him develop. I think he's a, he's a special one. Um, it'll be nice to see how he responds after last week's performance and this week get an opportunity to play with the ones. That'll, that'll be an opportunity for him. Yeah. You know, maybe we just go case two or three series and let him go in with the ones yeah. for a series, and then he, we sub, and then he stays with the twos, and he goes in. Yeah. yeah, okay. Defensive lineman Ian Seo, nephew of Hall of Famer Junior Seo, is trying to prove he should take reps with the ones as well. Seo! Seo, that hurt, quarterback. Seo! Last week in his first pro game, he recorded a sack, but let a second slip away. Third down and 10 again from the Dallas 20. Showers, feeling the heat, down he goes at the 10. Somehow managed to stay on his feet. Stay out! He spun out of it, throws down the near sideline, completes a melee. There's Ian Seau, the rookie out of Nevada, nephew of Junior Seau. He'll toss and turn tonight over that one. This is where you learn. You are looking at the 
this one right now. Gator now. You had him over there, right? You wouldn't have missed him, right? Gator, hang on to him now. Just hang on to the front of him. Man, don't let go. Nice job of Russell. All right. Russell and Alligator. Russell and Alligator. Make sure you hang on to the son of a gun now. Gator, 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 all the way. There it is. The Gator tackle. What it is is when you go to tackle a quarterback that's really a good scrambler, you got to roll and hang on. We do the Gator roll, you know, pretty much whenever we do a tackling. And the next time I did it, he made me roll like six, seven times to make sure I got the concept. Hi, Chael. Hang on, roll. Keep rolling. Be elite. You can be both. You can be elite. Make a choice. Seau isn't the only undrafted rookie rolling. Linebacker Brandon Chubb has gone bowling, and it's serious. NC State, NC State, obviously. Do it like the old days, huh? Hey, let's put, let's put push-ups. Push-ups on the game? Yeah. Loser does what? 20. <laughs> the astronaut is taken off. The astronaut has taken off, bro. Yo, my spaceship has left. The astronaut is, yo, I'm the astronaut's in space out. by now. Uh, hey, you still on Earth, my dog? You still on Earth? Hell no. Do not disrespect my off day by bowling like this. I could be at the crib kicked up right now. You're really disrespecting it. Ah! That's a wrap. Three. Come on, get that chest down. Four. <laughs> Come on, Yo, six. You're not going to disrespect. Hey, you're not about to disrespect my push-ups like that. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Chubb may be king of the alley, on, but on the football field, the rookie needs all the help he can get. Good thing he has a mentor and fellow linebacker Alec Ogletree, number 52. Get in your stance first. I need him to get a go. Come on. Come on. I see you, Brandon. Come on, Chubb. Come on, come on. Come on, Chubb. Stay down, stay down. Come on, stay down. Come on, come on, come on. Go again, go again. You get like this. You like this. Yeah. You ain't got no power behind it. Hey. You're too extended. You can't, you can't come off. Right. You got to shoot your hips, man. Shoot your hips. Right. Ogletree has taken to his new role this season as the leader of the defense. But that's not the biggest change in his life. Hey. What's up, Shelly? AJ, you sleep, man? Always sleep. Oh, you missed it, though. He had an explosion. Right, he pooped everywhere? Like, so I, like, took all his clothes to give him a bath and everything, and then, like, in the bath, like, poop, pee everywhere. <laughs> then I changed him into his clothes, and then he peed all over his clothes. He be acting up when he with y'all, because he, he missed me so much. No, he's like, who is this man? Mm -mm. <laughs> He be, he be ready to see me. You see Jackie? What's up, man? <laughs> I miss y'all. We miss you. No, yeah, I don't. Yes, we do, Alec. Are you kidding me? This is like single parent life. Yeah, I'll be having all the fun. We're about to get ready to watch this film, so. All right. I'll call y'all back after we finish. All right. Thanks for checking in on us. You're welcome. I love y'all. We love you too. Bye, AJ. See, that was his bye. <laughs> love you, man. I got you, Austin. Yeah. Hey. I'm already in. All right. I love that. Go. I got you. No, I was giving him love. <laughs> As a rookie, we don't get as many opportunities as a lot of um, the vets and a lot of the older guys. So, you know, you really have to make those opportunities count. And if you only get one rep, you better make that one rep, you know, amazing. Just so that, hey, maybe they'll give you more. Oh, he is eating today. I see you, Austin. Yeah. 
That's it! Even on his best day at camp, a young father's family can still feel tied up in knots. The hardest part about bouncing around, I think, is just not having any stability. He's away a lot because you can't just, like, up and move your family every time you get signed because things happen, like, daily. They change daily. So it's just he's gone a lot, and we don't, we can't really, like, we can't sit still for more than, like, five minutes. This stuff's always changing. The hardest part, I think, for them and for me to watch is them being apart because they're, like, best friends. You good, babes? Yes. Oh, think you can do that? No? You want to copy me on the road? All right, copy me. Come on, let's go. Tops Aww. made for the game today for my husband. <laughs> well, right now I'm just hoping Eric does really well. Cheering for him, supporting him as much as I can from Kansas City with the boys. But we're here. Say go, daddy. Go, daddy. Go, daddy. Say Rams, Rams, Rams. Yes, yes, yes. Last year was a little bit crazy. Aww. He was with yeah. the Chiefs for two years. Whoa. So he was with them for training camp, and then we went all over the place. Like, when we first got cut, he went to uh, Florida. Ready? And then we went to Charlotte for a while. Oh, they love doing this at home. After that, he went to Houston, which was probably the hardest for me because we were there like two days, and I got an apartment, and then they were like, oh, you're cut. But then, uh, what was it, December of last year, we ended up in St. Louis, and so we have our house in Kansas City, and if he makes the team, we'll stay out here for the season. So I'm just hoping for the best for him. You ready to go? Ready to go. Let's go, Brock. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, now let's do a good job. Now get him in there, ready to roll. Now, okay, right off the bat, we got Race Boston. Race Boston, ready? Mike Singletary's star pupil Alec Ogletree is finding out that it's easier to be a great leader when your compatriots actually listen. Oh, 
Alec Ogletree last week wasn't happy with the defense and the team didn't get lined up right, and that's on him now as the middle line. It is. It's not just you getting lined up now. You have to get everybody lined up. It's a take. It's a take call. It's a take call. I gave you a take. Third down and five from the 13. Two-step drop, throws near sideline, it's caught. He sticks it in his gut, he dances his way up the right, hash marks, and spills into the end zone for an opening touchdown. Are you kidding me? Two straight weeks here, the Rams fall behind early. That is a 13-play, 75-yard drive. Man, we gave a touchdown, listen, two weeks listen, in the row. Listen, 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 Bro. just listen, calm that, man. Just listen to me. There's not no can, calm down, can, bro. Can you talk to we me? We done did this can, two weeks can, in a can row. Can you talk to me? Two weeks me? in a row, right? Got that. It's over with. Look, look. Man? Go back out there and get it right. But listen. That right tackle. Forget that. The right tackle is getting a little way. Tree, you got it? You got it. All right. You, hey, listen to me. You tell them how you're going to call it, and you make sure they get it. Hey, listen to what he says. Do what he says. That's it, period. I don't want to hear any other discussion. I don't want to hear any other discussion other than yes, sir. Okay, you're better on first and second down, but third down, we got to get off. Take it. We got to get the off the field. When we give a call, everybody do their job. When we got that, they can't do man. They're not doing nothing we haven't seen. We got to bow the up, grow the up, grow some balls and hit them. Come and do your job, man. It's easy. How's it going, sir? A lot of time. How in the world are you? I'm good. I'm ready to go, man. We had to sit on the sideline. They just went down the field. He's going to play two series. Uh, two series? Uh-huh. Just two series means two plays. I mean, two plays. Two drives. Okay. A series is like a straight-up drive where they gain yards and then score or go have to punt it out. Here we go, boys. All right, let's go get some points here. Deuce right nasty. Quaker right Omaha. Ready? Let's go. Todd Gurley will play his first snap of preseason football. He's a guy that gets his whole city riled up. With good reason. Gurley is the defending rookie of the year and one of the best backs in the NFL. He can carry a team a long way. This is what we've been looking for. I mean, he got the ball going right. The defense over pursues, turns the corner. I know cars that can't corner like that. Keenum trying to quiet the crowd. Okay. It is Gurley. Roby, Searchy, touchdown, Todd Gurley. Let's go! Hey, hey! Nice job, O. That's sweet. Good job feeding the big fella. Todd's done, right? Yeah, done. 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 Yeah, done. Todd Gurley's night is over. He doesn't have anything to prove. How's that feel, huh? But Case Keenum will get another series. I think it'll be like 15 plays all together. Fires over the spot. Tight end Lance Hendricks across the 50 into Chiefs territory. Great ah. throw by Case Keenum. Case Keenum and the Rams a chance to take the lead here early second quarter. It's Cooper reaching for the pylon. He is in for the score. This is what we want to see from the Los Angeles Rams offense. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I see it, Coop. I see it, Coop. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, Susan, you came all this way for two drives. You got some good ones. Yes. And after Case Keenan went four of five for 53 yards and hit Farrell Cooper for a touchdown, he gives way to Jared Goff. The Rams want to get Goff their number one pick some time with the ones. Set. Wait, 20. What's that? Goff looking left. Nowhere to go, and he's tripped and dropped. The ball, ball out. comes out, and the Chiefs recover the fumble. So 20 to 14, Chiefs in front of the Rams, trailing for the second week in a row here in the preseason at the break. No, it's just fresh. It's frustrating. I know it is. Stupid. Okay. I, you know what I did? Just so you know, right? That was your favorite call. 
No, it was no. my fifth ranked one. I love it. But no, you know what I'm saying? I so just, what I want you to do is I want you to have the right. Call it again. Yes. No, but right, you said that was the one. I want to put it in your hands. You feel good. Yeah. yeah. Communication. Communication. Brandon, you take charge out there and you make them listen to you. Here's the deal. We've already done it once. You can do it again. Get ready to go win it again this second half. Third down, taking the ball away. Charlie Mike! Let's go now! Let's go now! Come on! Come on, let's go! Ethan Westbrook's week began with his coach throwing a wadded up bowl of paper in his face. It wasn't the low point. There's a flag down and there's a ram down with an injury. Personal foul, chop block, offense number 75. I think they high loaded, man. Ethan Westbrook's down, and if this is any kind of injury trouble for the Rams, they'll be furious that it comes on this type of play. Just relax. Hey, take a deep breath. This just hurt right now. You hear pop? What's no, it just hurt right now. I'll tell you. Pop? He feels okay. He feels okay. Okay, okay. Are you okay? You all right? Is your ankle okay? Yeah. Ankle's okay, too. You suck, 75! What the f is that, 75? You hey, where is it? I'm still going to play, right? Yeah, I heard it no. on the outside. Okay. okay, get up. Take a walk over. Hey, sit up. Come on, Ethan. There you go. Show him how tough you are, Ethan. Just walk off. He's up to his feet and will walk off under his own power. Oh, you didn't hear anything in your knee, though, huh? No, nah, he hit me in my thigh, man. Oh, we good, we good. I can still play, huh? Well, let's go look at it. Illegal chop, and you gotta. That's bull. Bull. Gotta stick up for family. Ian Seau knows it. And he also knows that to make the team, he's gotta go flat out every play. I'm coming. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Let's go, Sorry. <laughs> okay, look. Over there. Right there. Well, you can't see him. You see him? I see him! I see him! It's like, go daddy! Go daddy! Oh, you're lucky I wear some blue! Making his Rams debut, Austin Hill, second year man out of Arizona. There, yeah, there he goes, there he goes. Daddy, you like that? Oh, I see it. Number six. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, but close. They look similar, it's okay. Give Daddy the ball, come on, come on. Can't blame his daughter. Seems no one's calling Austin Hill's number tonight. Say, give my daddy the ball. Come on, come on. Give Daddy the ball. Come on, come on. Nope, 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 nope. It's okay. He loves to block. Oh. Daddy's gonna be mad. He didn't get the ball. Hill isn't targeted all night. Bowling champ Brandon Chubb is. Only problem, it's for all the wrong reasons. Brandon, Brandon, look at me when I talk to you. What? Brandon, can you see me? Brandon, come here. Did you hear me talking to you in that helmet? 
I ask you a question. Did you hear me? Then you look at me and you acknowledge me. I am not going to yell your name three times and have you walk that way. When I call your name, you better acknowledge that I'm talking to you. How you doing tonight? Are you having a blast? What? I'm trying to. I'm trying to have fun. Hey, guys, hey. Let's put one together here, okay? Let's go down, let's score, let's take the lead. Let's put one together, get a first down, start rolling. Trailing by six points, number one pick Jared Goff takes the field. We left, we left, we left. And the Rams take off. Wait, 20! What's that? to go fourth quarter. Rams threatening. Hey, we got it. We got it. Here we go. Set. Point 20. What's that? Got the shotgun. He throws to Brown. One hand back shoulder catch. And he's in for the Los Angeles touchdown. Oh, one hand one. Nice call. That was the fastest drop I've seen. So Jared Goff's first touchdown toss as a Ram goes to Malcolm Brown. Buddy, Malcolm Brown! Look like a play for me, buddy. Let's go. 21 20, Los Angeles rallying again in the fourth quarter. And the Rams will go to 2 0. Since we've been in LA, we're undefeated, right? We've been in LA, we're mm -hmm. undefeated, right? That's all that matters. It's about winning the game. Brandon, good job taking charge. Listen to me now. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't holler at you. OK, that's just me. All right. Hell of a job, hell of an effort. Feel good about to win. That's why you play these games. You win, you compete, you win. But we got stuff, we got a lot of work to do, OK? NFL teams really are like families. The good ones grow stronger with time. These Rams are young, still finding their way. But the ties that bind them look stronger every week. I didn't see you. You saw me? No. You did it? Well, I was on the field today, actually. I, I did see you a lot, but we were, we were trying to pay attention and you weren't listening. I wasn't listening? I'm sorry. It's loud. I can't hear you on the field. Did you have fun, though? <laughs> yeah. No, Sadia and Reese.